starting from this video, we are going to work on adding inventory. Okay, so basically on this inventory list page, we will need to have a add button here so that we can click on that button and go to another page where we can input a inventory name, the quantity and the price. And then on that page, we can click on the save button. The inventory needs to be saved in the data store. And then we should navigate back to this inventory list page where we can see the newly added inventory. So in this video, we are going to start implementing the use case because remember we are doing use case driven. So let's go to our code and then we are going to uh, go to our use case layer and start creating the use case. So we're going to call it add inventory use case. We are going to have the execute method. Again, we are going to use async. And then we're going to call it exe execute async. To add inventory, of course, we need the front end to pass inventory back to the use case, right? To the use case layer. So we are going to have the inventory passed in. And it doesn't know where to get the inventory. So we need to do a control dot to import a namespace and then the inventory parameter here. Now we need the inventory repository to do this. And for that, we are going to do a dependency injection from the constructor. So this is going to be I uh, inventory repository and we're going to import the namespace and control dot to initialize it as well. Now we have this inventory uh, repository where we can have a add inventory async method to pass this inventory in. So this is going to be a pass through here. But imagine that the user entered an inventory that has the same name as existing inventory. How do we prevent that from happening? So we will need the inventory repository to tell us whether the inventory already exists or not. Right. So we are going to have another method in the inventory repository uh, to say, you know, exists and then uh, we can pass in the inventory. Right. So we're going to say if it doesn't exist, then we are going to add inventory. Of course, none of these two methods exist yet, but we are going to create those method. And uh, here we may also have an async method. So we will need to call the await and also await here. So let's go inside the interface and create a signature here. So it's going to be task and this is going to be returning a boolean and we are going to have the inventory passed in like this and of course going back again to copy this method their name and this is going to be a just returning task without wrapping any uh, return type again passing in the inventory and just like that. So going back, now we see our squiggly lines are gone. 